All right, so now that we have our photo in here, we are going to start tracing. Now there's one thing you need to know before we actually begin, is that you can swap back and forth between your pen tool and the hand tool, which is basically just a grab tool, uh, by holding down the space bar. So if you're holding the space bar, it changes to the hand, if you see that right there, it changes to the hand. Um, by holding the space bar down, that allows you to switch back and forth and move your picture around. Okay, so if you hold the space bar, click with your mouse, and then drag your picture around, you can move along as you're tracing without having to change tools. It's just a little bit of a shortcut. All right, so we're going to start with our pen tool. And the first thing we want to do is make sure we are clicked on the pen tool and make sure that there's no fill. If you start tracing and it starts to fill with color like this, that's no good because then you won't be able to see underneath it. So up at the top here in your format bar, the square on the left is your fill color. We're going to make that transparent, which is the, the square with the red line diagonal through it. That means there's no fill. And we're going to give our stroke a bright color. Okay? And now by doing that is by doing that, it's going to make your lines stick out because you can always change your colors again in the future, but you want them to be able to stick out so you can see where you're going. So let's start tracing this guy. We're going to start with the head, okay? Um, and if you need to zoom in, just do control plus and then center your head in your screen kind of like I have mine here. We're going to start at the top. You want to click, hold your mouse click down, and drag your handlebars out. Now you don't want to drag them out too far. You don't want them to come out here, otherwise it's going to make your line uncontrollable. So you only want to drag them out a little ways. And now I'm going to move towards the right. So notice as I make my next point selection, I click hold and I'm dragging towards the right. I'm dragging in the direction that I'm moving. So click hold, drag out your handlebars. Click hold, drag out your handlebars. Click hold, drag out your handlebars. And just keep going until you make it all the way around. And now since he has some wispy hair, I'm going to go in and out here and give him some wispies. Now, if you don't drag your handlebars out, you're actually making angular segments, line segments, that are sharp edges and straight lines. So you only drag your handlebars if you want a curved line. So like here, I'm going to just do zigzags for his bangs because I don't want curved lines here. I want them to be jaggedy. To go along the edge of his hair. Now as we're getting to the other side, I'm going to start to pull out some handlebars here in another few seconds. So now since I'm tracing around his face, we're going to come down and trace and we're going along the edge of his hair again so we're getting a little jaggedy so we can go in and come out now those of you with long hair or ponytails or curly hair it's really really important not to give yourself a helmet so you want to take time to really trace in and out as best you can now it doesn't need to be exact but just enough to get the idea. So, still going a little bit, almost done. Now we're getting back up to my large straight line. So we're gonna come here, pull out my handlebars a little bit, come here. And then finally, you always wanna end where you began. So always reconnect your dots. Your last dot should be on the same exact spot that you had your first point. Okay? So you want to click and then drag your handlebars out so that way you get a nice round curve. So if we were to fill this with his hair color, um, we would use the eyedropper. So we're going to use the eyedropper tool over here in your toolbar. And I'm just going to use it to sample a section of his hair. Now that's not blonde enough for me, so we're going to get a lighter color. Yeah, that looks about good. Let's see if we can do this one. Nah, it looks gray. All right, so we'll give him brown hair for right now. 
okay? Now notice, as I've done this, you look kind of at your lines here. Along the left side of his face, it looks like there's a gap here. Now if you need to, you can always go back and readjust your line by using your white arrow, which is your direct selection tool, single clicking a point, and then just use your arrow keys to nudge, or you can click on your mouse, click on it with your mouse, and drag that point. You can also rework the handlebars from the anchor to reshape a line or make it a little more curve or a little less curve, that kind of thing. Okay, so now that you guys have your hair done, I want you to do a file save. Make sure you've saved it to your desktop or to your thumb drive. Save your work and then you can move on to your next tutorial.